Hey Finksters and welcome to this video where I want to show you what's the one-liner equivalent of a simple if statement without an else branch. Okay, so say we have this if statement, we have an if statement, so we check if a certain condition is met and the condition can be anything now, I just assigned the um, boolean value true to it and only under this condition, condition we want to print um, a certain value or execute a certain branch we can uh, we can do a different thing we can assign a value to the variable only if the condition is met we can append an element to a list only if the condition holds holds or so on yeah so we can, can do anything here and um yeah so what's a simple way of writing this in a single line of code and actually we have i have found four methods of doing this and i think they uh, studying those uh, is an interesting exercise for you as a ambitious Python coder who want to learn more and become a better coder overall. And uh, also um, these methods will teach you new concepts like the ternary operator and so on. So uh, stay with me and let's dive right into the first method. Okay, so the first way of, of uh, expressing this in a single line of code is to just write it in a single line. Okay, so this is, this is perfectly possible and you will see it in many code bases. So let's, uh, let's run this. So we see we execute high because the condition is true. If we set the condition to false and we run the code, then there is no output. Okay, so no output anymore. And um, yeah, you can you can uh, of course you can write anything in Python. You can write anything in the single line of code. There are a few tricks how to do this. So for example, you can the, you can use the semicolon to print to print um, different things or to uh, to run multiple lines um, in a single line. So so basically with this with this very crude strategy you can cram anything into a single line in python just by using the semicolon operator okay so uh, you can you can add as many statements as you want but of course this is not considered to be pythonic and i think even some pep8 style checkers uh, will complain about this and will throw an error like the pylint uh, tool you can you can copy paste this into the pylint tool and it will show tell you okay this is not pythonic code you should not cram multiple statements into a single line of code but still it works perfectly and actually in practice you will see it uh, oftentimes and even the pep8 standard does not 100% discourage uh, its use so it says in some instances it may be okay so you should all, you should not do this if you have elif statements and so on obviously because then it becomes quite unreadable but i think for those simple um simple codes it's perfectly valid to do it okay but then we are not happy with this single line so what if we want to um, do something else so then of course we can also use the ternary operator and the ternary operator uh, this general structure is x if condition else y okay that's so very readable so we so we return x if the condition is met so if it is if it evaluates to true otherwise we return y and now this this you, we can use it to assign it to a variable or we can just throw it away so if you assign it to a variable then we can do like the following x equals 42 for example if the condition is met else say we assign the value none and now now we want to have um we don't want to have an else branch so this is this is like the um this is our goal so we want to have um, a simple if statement in a single line of code without an else branch so but then of course if you use the ternary operator then we need to use the else branch so we can just use a throwaway parameter like none here okay so this way we can assign a certain value to uh, to the variable and now if you run the variable if you run the code it should the variable has the value 42 okay so this works and also we can execute so we can just execute any statement we want yeah like print high or any other function we uh, we actually want to want to execute we can execute conditionally by using this statement okay so we execute this function only if the condition is met and now we have to so we cannot just skip this this will throw a syntax error invalid syntax so so this does not work but the ternary operator it just to it uh, requires that there is an else branch okay so because because it's ternary ternary means three operands so we have three operands uh, one two three so we have uh, the the if branch the condition and the else branch in the ternary operator and therefore we need to define the else branch but then of course we can simply like the ternary operator in its whole it returns a value conditionally but if you are not interested in a value like here if you want to print a, a certain thing or if we execute a certain function then we can just don't assign it to any variable so then basically we will throw it away and 
By doing this, so the return value of the print function is none, obviously, and here we also return none in the else branch. So in any case, we don't um, execute any branch. Uh, we, we don't return any branch, uh, any re return value, so from any branch. So therefore, um, it's basically this ternary operator has no no output, no return value, so that we don't change any variable or so. So we only execute a function conditionally. So this works perfectly well if you want to um, execute a, a simple if branch without an else branch and you just use the dummy else branch and you can do anything. Uh, you can run any code, like even print stuff here. Okay, so this both leads to the same result. So these two li one-liners are semantically equivalent. And then uh, there's also a nice third method which I want to show you. Um, which is, this is really elegant and only advanced Python coders will understand it. So this one here, it's, it's uh, equally short as the first one, but it uses another trick. It uses um, the uh, uh, short circuiting in Python. So what does it mean short circuiting? It's, uh, it it uh, is an optimization of logical operators like the AND operator. So this is just an AND operator and this returns some value, so the end operator returns a value, and now we can decide whether we want to assign this value or just throw it away, just ignore it. So we, um, if you just want to conditionally run one of the branches, then th we can actually actually do this, and I will explain it in a moment. So if the condition is true, like in our case, we we have true and print. So and the shirt circuiting works works like this: if the first operand is true for the end operation, then the second operand determines whether the end operation is true, the whole oper uh, end operation is true. So therefore it just returns the second operand without even evaluating it. But actually, yeah, it returns it and then it evaluates it later. So therefore, it, um, so if the condition is true, then it returns the second operand. So it executes, if you want, and returns and executes the second operand, which is, which is a function, print function by itself. And, um, so therefore, if the condition is true, we run the second operand. But if the condition is false, then it will not even evaluate the second operand because in an end, logical end operation, if the first operand is already false, then the whole end will be false. So therefore, it directly returns false here. So if the condition is false, it just returns false without even evaluating the second operand, without even looking at the second operand. So this is very elegant. So therefore, you only execute this conditional function if the first con if the condition holds. Otherwise, you don't run it. So let's check this. Here we have, um, so maybe refresh the shell so to make it more obvious. Okay, now we have uh, three same outputs, high. So in, so in each line we print high. If the condition is uh, true, if the condition is false, then we print nothing, okay? So because we don't have an else branch. And this was also the, our goal. So these, these three very nice little Python tricks allow you to uh, run some code conditionally without an else branch, only considering an if branch. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you like Python one-liners and you are excited about these types of uh, writing very concise Python code, and also you want to get an overview of different uh, computer science fields like machine learning, data science, uh, regular expressions, basic Python, and so on, then check out my new book, Python one-liners. It appeared in uh, 2020, and I will, like the book is full of, of many, um, figures and um, explanations of uh, core computer science algorithms and core um, topics. It's, uh, it has like 50 one-liners uh, one that, really that will teach you to understand any single line of Python code. And if you cannot even understand the single line of Python code, then you have no chance of even understanding more advanced Python projects. Okay, thanks for uh, watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.